what would you do from here? This is a nasty spot. We are at Riverside Oaks on a beautiful morning, but my ball has landed in a really hideous, uh, grass-free, hard-packed mud area. Now, we're quite close to the green. We've got a down slope, and there's a little bit of rough between us and the green. So the only real options we have are to play a sort of a low chip and run shot or to putt. Now, I'm preferring the chip and run shot because it'll carry me over some of this grass. When you're putting, you've really got to negotiate every blade of grass all the way through and you're trying to judge how hard to hit it. So at least with the chip and run with an eight or a seven, you're carrying over some of it and then just try and bumble it down there as best you can. Ball position, back in the stance a little bit just to make sure you get the ball first off this terrible lie and then we're just using a small swing going to try and pick a spot where we think we can land it it's a bit of judgment here it's going to be a bit of guesswork and pretty much then hope for the best get it rolling get it running onto the green it's not too bad at all i'd be pretty happy with that actually so a chip and run or a putter really your only two options off such a terrible lie so what should you do from here now you can see we've got a pretty basic pitching shot here. You could chip and run it with an eight or a seven, except that I would worry that the pin is a little bit close. So to chip and run it with that sort of club, you'd need to land the ball short. And then because of the slope, it might run off. So I don't really like a chip and run. Um, you also wouldn't really need a sand wedge because the pin's not all that close to the front. So my suggestion here, because you've got about halfway to the landing area on the green and another halfway to the flag, would just be a basic pitching wedge shot. So a lot of people might also like to putt from here, but again, because of the slope, I think putting is a problem. I think you're a little bit too far off to putt. So we're just going to play a basic little pitching wedge shot, land about halfway and let it run the rest. All right, and hopefully it'll work like that for you as well. So when you've got about half and half, halfway to the landing area, halfway to the pin, use your pitching wedge. So what would you do from here? Now this is a shocker of a situation. I've got no grass whatsoever under my ball. I'm off a down slope and I've got very little room between these bunkers and water over the back. So it's about as bad as it gets right now. Now, um, what you would normally do if you had a good lie with some grass is you'd pitch it up and onto the green. Now, a lot of you might find that a little bit scary anyway with water over the back. So what I'm going to do here, because the lie is poor, but also you could play it this way if, if you had a good lie, but you weren't confident with lifting the ball, is just to play a little punch eight iron or seven, like a chip and run shot. So all we're going to do is aim to land in between the bunkers and run down onto the green. It's the safest option off a poor lie or if you're not confident about lifting the ball up. So with a chip and run, we're just gonna lean a bit, little bit on the left side and grip down, and then we're just playing a little shoulder shot, not much hands and wrists, trying to land the ball about halfway, I would say, between here and the hole, and really just hope for the best. It's gonna be a bit hit and miss, so you can see that got caught up there, but essentially it's a safer option than trying to lift the ball up off a really bad lie. So what should I do from here? I have a tricky situation. I've got a bunker in front of me, uh, which I need to carry over to get onto the green, but I also have an overhanging tree, so I have to keep the ball underneath that. And to complicate matters even further, I'm on a bit of an upslope to the bunker here. When you're hitting off an upslope, the ball will go higher. We don't want to get up into the tree. So if I use a wedge of some sort, pitching wedge or sandwich, it's probably going to get up a bit too high. So I want to take some loft off my club. Um, I've gone down to an eight just to keep it a bit lower, but I haven't gone down too far like a six or a five or something because that will probably go too low. So I want something with a little bit of loft just to get me over the bunker, but not too much um, so it won't go up into the trees. So once you've decided on your club in this situation, you're really just going to play a sort of a chip shot or a pitch shot over that bunker, aim for where you want to land the ball or where you think you should land the ball, and eight's going to run a little bit. So I'm just going to play a little punch shot, try and land it just over the bunker there and hope for the best. That should be not too bad. I think you'd probably take that under the circumstances. All right, so hopefully that's helped you to know what to do next time you're in a situation where you've got to go over the bunker but keep it under a tree.